And now, so this is a little guide for you guys on how to use Google Classroom, all right? This is where we're gonna go moving forward. We're gonna use this as much as we can do. I mean, we always plan to use it, but we just sort of move those plans up because of what's going on. So this is a, your pupil guide to success, okay? So, Google Classroom, essentially what it is, it, it's your own virtual classroom for your subjects, okay? Your teachers own the class, and they'll use it to sort of share learning, um, new pieces of um, work, material, classwork, homework, things for you to do, um, challenges, feedback, next steps, um, little low stakes quizzes, stuff like that that we do in class. They'll also use it to signpost further learning opportunities, so videos to watch. Um, just like the scholarship sheets we have on our website, videos to watch, films to watch, TV programs to look out for, uh, podcasts to listen to, uh, museums to go and visit when museums open and stuff like this. So what it is, it's your own virtual learning environment. And despite what schools are going to look like in the future, we're going to be using this a lot more because of it's so helpful and so functional for what we want to do moving forward as a society. So it's a chance, as it says there, for you to take responsibility and ownership of your learning. Okay, You get a chance to show that pride in your achievement, to demonstrate that ambition to get things in on time. Okay, and it's a bit of etiquette, you know, getting things you've been given a due date and submitting it and doing the work couldn't be easier. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through it now and how to access it, how to get on it. And then you're going to join the classes you've been asked to join. And then we're going to pilot it and see how it works. So first thing you need to do is you need to sign into your Gmail. And if you don't know what that is, go to Google, top right, you'll see sign in. If you don't know what your Gmail account is, it's one you would have been using in computing with your computing teacher. And if you don't know how to access it, the information's here. Now, the information is also being emailed to your parents, all right? But if you're in year eight, it's slightly different. You follow this format here. So it's your name, lowercase, so your first, let's say your first name, your last name, lowercase with the number 19 at oakfieldacademy.org. Year five, six, and seven, a bit different. It's your first name dot second name at oakfordacademy.org. If you've got a hyphenated name or, or any apostrophes, um, I try it with and without, because I'm not sure how it works. And Mr. Vernon said he's, key, he's not sure if it, it allows the apostrophe or not. So do that, and if you're still struggling, contact us and we'll talk you through it. So that's how you access your Gmail accounts to get into Google Classroom. Once you've logged in, it will come up in the top right hand corner, an icon. If you haven't been in before, it won't have a picture. If you ha it will have like a letter. For instance, if it's James, it'll have a J. If it's Paul, it'll have a P. Now this little thing next to it, this little Rubik's Cube or Waffle, um, if you click that, it shows all the apps that you could be using um, with your Google account. Now Google Docs is a Microsoft Word. Google Sheets is like Microsoft Excel, Google Slides is like PowerPoint. And this is all down here, Google Classroom, because we've got Google Earth, we all are zooming into our house and seeing what we're doing and stuff, so yeah. So, essentially, the icons you need to know for this are gonna be Docs, Drive, Slides, Sheets of Forms. So Drive is where all your work is gonna be kept, okay? And again, if you pause the video at any point, you need to write some stuff down. Now, you would have been invited by your teachers to join a class. Now, you've done that via your Gmail email account that you've just logged into. So if you click your Gmail, either via there or here, and you'll see it will come up with class invitation, 8N, year 8. You've been invited. So if you go into that email, you click join. And what it will do, let me go back. What it will do is it will take you to Google Classroom, and then we'll go through those steps in a minute. Once you've done that once, to access Google Classroom, you go to the top thing there, the, uh, the Rubik's Cube, the Waffle, whatever you want to call it, and you click on that icon there, and it will transport you to that virtual learning environment, all right? That's how you get, get onto it once you've done the email bit. So this, once you click through the email, it will come up with this screen here on Google Classroom. I'm a student, I'm a teacher. Well, you are a student. If you click that, it won't let you because um, you've got a student email address. So it won't let you. So you click on a student, job done, you're in. You've joined the class. 
This is the class name. This here is the class stream. Okay, and this is where uh, your teacher will po post whole class messages and support and ideas, just like they would do in class when they give a whole class message to the whole class, okay? So that's the, that's the main bit, it's the main page. On the left-hand side here, if you click those lines there, it will show you all the classes you belong to, because you're gonna belong to more than one class. It'll be a geography class, a history class, maybe an English class, a maths class. Um, so you'll need to know which one to go into for which piece of work so that we um, by your timetable and you'll be notified about that as well. Now on the classwork tab, that will see where all the work has been set for you to do. Not all work is going to require you to hand it in though. Just like in class, not all pieces of work are going to be about you finishing something and giving it to the teacher for them to assess. Because sometimes they don't need to. Sometimes this piece of work is for you to work out how to use your learning effectively. Sometimes it could be a low stakes retrieval quiz. Sometimes it could be some research. But essentially, this is where you'll find it all in the classwork. The instructions, if you click on the assignment, if you go back, you see there, there's an assignment there. If I clicked on that, the teacher will write the instructions of what to do and they'll be really explicit. Do this, do this, do this. Really chunked and succinct and clear so you can be a success, all right? So once you've read the details, you'll see all the resources, just like in class where you'd be given the resources or you use your exercise book. You can see here you've got a retrieval quiz, a video to watch, then you've got a PDF, which is basically what will be on the board. And then here you've got your document. You're gonna answer where you're working, much like your exercise book. So all those materials and resources are there under that assignment, under that classwork. Now, once again, if we go back to these things, these are the sorts of documents or icons that you're going to be using. So all your work gets saved in your Google Drive and you might be using Docs, which is Word, and Slides, which is PowerPoint, and Sheets and Forms. So this is an example of a piece of work to complete. It's um, something with coastal waves. And this person has, um, they've written their name in as they've been asked to do it, and they've written an answer to that question. Now, once they've done the work, they then turn it in, they submit it, and that's there on the right-hand side, turn in work. The best thing about Google Docs is it saves as you do the work. So you don't have to keep going file, save, file, save. It just does it. It will say saving up there, and it will continue to save it and save it and save it. And there is no limit on memory. There is no limit on the amount you can save. Okay? You see up here, it says turn in. So once you're ready, you can either turn it in there or hand it in, or turn it here, hand it in. And it says, look, turn your work question mark. You've got to press that. You've got to say I've turned it in. Otherwise it won't hand it in and the teacher can't give you feedback and can't give you next steps. There's so many times it's happened, right? So just be sure you're going through the process. Now, once it's been handed in, the teacher gets a chance to assess, give a little comment as they would do in class, but it's called formative assessment where we talk about your work and ask you questions. And that's exactly what the teacher's done here, all right? They've asked a question, they've given some next steps feedback. They've also been able to write on the work. So if this person clicks on their work here, it will say there, click on your work. So they click on their work and they've added a comment in on what to do next, just as they would do if they were marking the book. Now, that's fabulous. And you get notified by email when that happens. So you know when it's happened. You start the teacher going, here's your work back, or can you do this now, please? You get notified by email. It's just the same as it is in the classroom, just all done virtually. It's fabulous, fantastic. Now you can access this anywhere, on any device, as long as you access the internet. Desktop, tablet, iPhone, Android, there's apps for it as well, so you can access it that way. Moving forward, this is how we're gonna move teaching and learning at the Academy forward, okay? It's a way of getting that expert opinion, or expert input from your teachers. So there might be times when the teacher has videoed themselves describing a concept for five minutes, you know, the concept of maybe of velocity in science, and your science teacher was best placed to just, just, just describe it to you and then set you a challenge. But it's a chance for you to take responsibility in your learning as well. It's going to take a bit of getting used to for all of us. We've all got the ambition to get this done, all right? And it will definitely work. And there'll be, there'll be tweaks that we used to need to do to transform it, to make it success. But we'll do that together, 
okay? So follow the steps in the video. You might have to rewatch it, pause it. Um, get onto Google Classroom. You'll see the teachers would have invited you to certain classes already and there'll be work set already. Now the expectation is that you get that work in on the due date and then that way we can give you and help you with your you know, depth of learning and how to move forward, okay? I'm re really excited about this next step, really excited about it. So let's make it sure it's a real success. Any questions, you know how to communicate with the Academy, okay? And I'll see you all really soon. Take care.